Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started tonight real quick, I have a public service announcement for all the guys that are in the room right now. Yeah. Ladies, you're probably going to want to pay attention. This is something you've probably experienced before, and it may clear up a few questions. Guys, stop becoming best friends with the women you desperately want to sleep with. Either let it be known early on, or let it go. Now, I understand, I really do. I mean, maybe you don't have the confidence, which coincidentally seems to coincide with having a small penis size in the minds of many in this culture, but it's much more complex than that. Sometimes. <laughs> and you're scared of rejection. You're literally coached belittled you in front of the whole team, and now shame is acclaimed as the worst feeling you could possibly have for letting or for failure of your life's ambitions. So you always wait for a green light before you even think to proceed. Or maybe you don't want to come across as that guy just trying to get into her get into her pants because you really care and appreciate her beauty. You know the depths of her soul and want to show her that you're different. Regardless of the reason, you end up taking that traditional pace of sloths, slathered in molasses, wading through quicksand, waiting for that perfect moment to unveil your undying love and attention, making her swoon and fall into your arms so you can both ride off into the sunset, and things are going great. You even got to the first time you got to cuddle with her at night, snuggled and all warm, and you're trying ever so nonchalantly to caress that right, po right spot on her body that'll make her unable to resist attacking you passionately. But no! If you were that good in the first place, you never would have gotten this far down that celibate road of friendship. <laughs> Instead, you're left at clutching at wandering thoughts of possibility that only results in you not sleeping as would have if, if you were sleeping alone. And women, I will say this with all the certainty I have in the world. If a straight man has slept in the same bed with you, he has thought seriously about having sex with you. Period. <laughs> Guys, I apologize for blowing up your spots, especially if you're sitting next to a woman you're in this situation with. <laughs> but it has to be said. Because it's only... It only goes downhill from here. Because eventually, some guy is going to approach her on the fast track successfully, and now you're stuck listening to her talk about this ass clown, and now he takes her out of the town and gets her all wet, and you know this guy is a douchebag, even though you never met him, because you're perfect for her, she just hasn't realized it yet. So listen to me, fellas. I have fallen into this cryogenic state of libidoless friends many times before with my only thoughts on how to be rescued from this painfully frozen state. But I shouldn't be too negative, because on a couple occasions, I have been freed from those shackles and bashed in the glory of finally knowing and not simulating a physical touch with lust, and I must admit that it was pretty good. But in the end, it was never really worth it. Awkwardness and tension will drop the anchors of a buoyant and fun relationship quicker than that weight you feel tugging on you now. The anguish, angst, and irritated feelings will prevent you from truly spending time with a friend and missing opportunities with other women where your odds are slightly better than a mega million jackpot lottery, which is what you're dealing with now. So either let it be known or let it go. This public service announcement was brought to you by The Intangibles. Thank you. <laughs>